So in uh, general conversation last night, someone asked me a question which revealed a gap in my knowledge. I got an excuse that I've had very little exposure to LH Jetronic, the uh, 140 with the 104 990 engine, the very early 300 SE does have LH Jetronic. That's my first actual exposure to it, and I haven't actually had to do any maintenance on it. It seems to be an extremely good system and ridiculously reliable. Um, obviously, that's what uh, Ben started using after KE Jetronic. It's uh, electronic fuel injection with distributor ignition. So in Australia, we would have only had it in the 300 SE and uh, 129 and 140s with uh, the V8s and electronic injection and distributor ignition. And that was used up till it was replaced with HFM uh, several years later. Um, the question asked of me, is LH Jetronic a, sequ a sequential uh, multi-port fuel injection system, i.e., it fires the injector in time with the intake valve being open on each uh, cylinder. And the answer to that on the Benzes is absolutely yes. Um, it's surprisingly advanced. I didn't think much of it. I thought basically it was only slightly more enhanced than um, KE Jetronic and maybe it was bank fired, but no, it absolutely is sequential. Um, and it relies heavily on CAN bus communication between it and the EZL. Uh, some very interesting facts in this uh, document here, if you can get your hands on it. It explains entirely how the system works. Um, this is the genuine MB literature, and it does have excellent uh, fail-safe operation. Um, in the case of the... Uh, air airflow sensor failing. Uh, it reverts to using the uh, manifold absolute pressure information shared from the EZL via CAN bus, and that's bloody impressive. And the way it uh, knows about cylinder one detection and having the injectors timed perfectly, well, it's sharing that information with the EZL as well because there's a camshaft position sensor which goes to the EZL and that's converting it into a signal that the ECU understands. Um, LH also compensates for wear of the engine, unlike KE Jetronic. Um, it does the deceleration fuel cutoff, so it cuts off a number of injectors as you're slowing down. It maintains the uh, engine speed. Uh, Overspeed um, control and also top speed governing of 250 kilometers an hour, uh, except in the M120, that's the acceler uh, electronic accelerator that does that. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool system. And there's, as usual, virtually no information out there that is reliable on the internet. It's absolutely full of misinformation, as per usual. Um, so if you can get your hands on this document and you want to know about LH Electronic, it's all there and it's a bloody good system.